motherfucker, right? You know, everybody's online, face tweeting all day long, right? <laughs> so this guy tweets at me, you're a dirty carpet munching cunt that belongs in my kitchen washing my dishes and my cock. Write a poem about that. So I took his advice. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> so this is for like all the people who like people say stupid shit to you all day and you really want to say it to them. Obviously, you're a rotting dick. <laughs> An asswipe. An open sore existing amongst the worst tumors that plague humanity. You are an apology someone should have made to women centuries ago. Today, you remain a very good reason abortions should remain legal and available to every woman who finds herself carrying the figurative fetus of your fetid misogyny. Get the fuck out of my womb you hater of your own origin. You forget you came from some woman's cunt. The pussy you so deride provided path for you to get here spewing your sick soliloquy. Your existence also makes good argument for capital punishment. Mm. <laughs> but I hold myself accountable to a more compassionate code of ethics, so I will refrain also from advocating for the archaic quartering of you. Also, I resist the urge to imagine you shackled in sequestered servitude, kneeling at the altar of some woman's holy panani, washing her feet with your mouth. Only, I would not wish her the degradation of your tongue on her flesh, your feet on her floors. You are the one thing I will spend my entire life trying to protect my daughter from. The slime of your ignorance, the sweat of your hate, coward that you are, hiding behind the intangible shroud of the virtual. Your keystrokes are the only only ones with any power. Impotent, unimportant little man who splattered the male identity with the putridity you exude. Rotting apple, gunnerial wound refusing to heal. You would have us conclude that most people are like you. But for the stellar examples of men in my life, I would think you the norm. Your actions might inform the love I cradle for those small boys in my circle, earnestly learning how to become better than the monster you have chosen to become. Far and away, you are Frankenstein, and you frighten me with your ability to keep breathing, your inclination to replicate, to recruit, to keep pressing the boot of your discrimination upon the necks of generation after generation after generation. The only thing that pre prevents me from raising arms and going gorilla after you with guns is a collective dedication to the eradication of your kind across all the borders of feminism and race and spaces held wire against the throat of equality. Women continue to resist your kind with heart and body. We resist you with cunts and collarbones. We kill your cowardice in our kitchens and our bedrooms. We rebuke all you offer as fact. The act of tweeting something does not make it true, you ignorant motherfucker. You are only a narrow opinion constructed poorly. 140 characters, you are only 140 characters, and my cavalry is so much more committed than yours. From Nairobi to New York City, from Kingston to Jakarta, women, women resist you. You and your crones contrive to keep the best parts of us broken. These rants, you and your drones continue to inspire. These litanies we are forced to compose every day stand only as evidence to your crumbling motherfucking tyranny. Time will hold these actions as crimes against all humanity. As it was with every disease before you, the strongest, most admirable parts of being human, of being woman, will keep adapting over and over again. Watch us adapt in this day and age. Watch us morph, hatch, give birth to a power reminiscent of Harriet and Sojourner, of Winnie motherfucking Mandela. History has already shown us what doesn't kill us, will only make our resistance stronger. Are you hearing me, motherfucker? What does not kill us will only make our resistance stronger. What does not kill us will only make this resistance stronger.
Woo!